हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर से सीरीज टूडे आई एम गोन मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल अबाउट द मेटा सेंटर एंड इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस इन शेप स्टेबिलिटी वी विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट इक्विलिब्रियम कंडीशन इन द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ शेप ट्रांसफर स्टेबिलिटी वेल बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग अहेड डीप इन टू दिस कॉन्सेप्ट लेट अस रिकॉल दैट अ सॉलिड बॉडी फ्लोट्स इन अ फ्लूड if the mass density of the body is less than that of fluid as it just happens in case of wood ice cube and a plastic toy you may very well observe that all of them used to have a density less than that of water let us now imagine that we have an empty bottle of glass sealed with a cork uh, just as an information the glass has a density higher than that of water but is still it's afloat why what is the reason behind this the reason being it's empty from inside and contains nothing but air the glass and air together make the resultant density of this bottle less than that of water causing it to float according to laws of flotation for a body to stay afloat the weight of fluid displaced by the body is to be equal to the weight of the body as it happens in case of boats and ships when a body say a ship floats in the water it is under the action of two major forces the gravitational force that is weight acting downwards through center of gravity and buoyant force acting upwards through center of buoyancy both center of gravity and center of buoyancy are being in the same vertical line and hence the ship is just in equilibrium looking at cross section of the ship's hull uh, the water line can be considered as a straight horizontal line and there goes the ship center line if the ship now heels to some angle because of some external forces let's say wind or waves the center of gravity stays in its original position but the center of buoyancy which was earlier lying at point b will change its location why just because there has occurred a change in the shape of underwater volume buoyant forces will now be acting upwards through new center of buoyancy and gravitational weight will be acting downwards through original center of gravity they both are creating a couple moment effect of which will be to bring the ship back to its upright condition this moment is well called as writing moment the vertical line through new center of buoyancy intersects the center line somewhere at point m which is called as the transverse meta center the vertical distance measured between center of gravity and the meta center is called as meta centric height well metacentric height has got its own importance in ship stability now depending upon the respective locations of metacenter and the center of gravity the ship possesses three types of equilibrium there being stable unstable and neutral equilibrium starting with stable equilibrium well there is our ship inclined temporarily to some angle we have seen previously that center of buoyancy shifts to a new position and a writing moment gets formed which tries to bring the ship back to its upright condition uh, for this to occur the center of gravity of the ship must be below the meta center which simply means that meta centric height is positive the shortest perpendicular distance between line of action of gravitational weight and line of action of buoyancy is termed as writing lever which is gz here looking at the triangle gzm for any angle of heel theta gz can be expressed as gm sin theta and the value of writing moment will be given by weight multiplied by the writing lever just the way we express magnitude of a couple moment by either force multiplied by the shortest perpendicular distance weight of the ship will be equals to delta into gravitational acceleration 
and gz can be replaced with gm sin theta so the final expression for writing moment becomes delta into g into gm sin theta well this writing moment will be bringing the ship back to its upright condition we can very well observe that writing moment is directly proportional to metacentric height a ship which is having a high metacentric height will be highly stable and hence it will be having enough resistance against rolling of the ship such ships are called as stiff ships other ships which are sailing with less metacentric height will be having a tendency to keep on rolling to some larger angles of heel they are called as tender let us now move on unstable equilibrium in this case the ship will not be having a tendency to come back to its upright condition by itself after being inclined to some angles you can very well observe in this case that meta center is lying below center of gravity of the ship and hence we are having a negative value of meta centric height the ship will be experiencing a capsizing moment which heels the ship further to some larger angles uh, well let us now finally arrive on the neutral equilibrium in a case the ship gets inclined because of some external forces it may so occur sometimes that the new center of buoyancy comes well under center of gravity in this case the center of gravity will get coincided with the meta center the writing moment becomes zero and ship will remain inclined at that particular angle neither it will come back to its upright condition nor it heels further the vessel lying in this condition is said to be in neutral equilibrium the permanent angle up to which the ship has inclined in this case is termed as angle of lol i hope you all got to understand the concepts very well thank you